Hi, my name is Ross McCatherine, and I am the owner of Luckanot Fishing. Today I'm going to talk about my preferences of fishing line types. As you can see, I have three spinning reels equipped with monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided line. As you can see, they are armed with either a lipless crankbait, a Texas rig, or a spinner bait. I'm going to share why I prefer these lure setups for these types of line. On my first spinning reel, I am using a 10 pound monofilament with a silver limpless crankbait shad with red aftermarket hooks. Let me start my demo by analyzing what mono is. Positives about demo is that one, it floats, two, it's damage resistant, and three, it does not snap with certain knot combinations. Now let's start with the common drawbacks, commonly known as memory. Anyone who uses monofilament frequently understands how many times they have to stop and fix fouled reels like the slinky effect. How do I counter this? The way I do this is by using a heavier lure like the crankbait you see right here. This size of this lure is going to outweigh all the tension being pulled on the mono, taming all of that memory in the line, making the seizing of that slinky effect less common. On my second reel that I'm using, I am using a 10 pound fluorocarbon combo with a Texas rigged crawl. One of the common drawbacks of fluorocarbon is that it likes to snap, or like what I like to call the firecracker effect, because that is basically what is happening when this happens. My not approach to dealing with the knot dilemma on fluorocarbon is to not use a knot at all. Instead what I like to do is to use a snell. No overhand knot, just a snell. You may think I'm crazy for saying this, but I actually tested my theory at home on this very same reel with great success. I test casted an overweighted te Texas rig on this very reel to see if it would go firecracker or come loose or snap in a garden full of white clovers slowing me down the whole time. I'll explain my idea in a later video, but I want you to I want to use the fluorocarbon on a shaint hook so you can tie your snell snug on that hook. You can't tie a snell on a crankbait or a jig or a spinnerbait. The mono line with the memory in mind won't hold the snell the same way the fluorocarbon will so keep that in mind when using a fluorocarbon snell ring like this one right here. On my third reel I am using a 10 pound red braided line with an inline spinner bait attached to the end. You want to use either a spinner bait, a jig, or a frog on braid. You want to use your lighter lures without shanked hooks on braid. Braid is for faster acting lures. Crankbaits are for monofilament. They are heavier, they are bulkier, they are going to hold the line down. You're not going to get the um, slinky effect on a heavier lure. If you use this spinner bait on the mono, you're going to get the, the slinky. You're, going, you're just going to get the slinky, you know what I'm saying? But if you use the crank bait on the braid, you're losing that extra you're losing that extra purpose in the crank bait. So your crankbait is going to be either a top water or medium water type lure. So you want to use the lure that you're going to use on top of the water for mono. And more than likely you're going to use braid in grass and weeds and slush. You know what I'm saying? So I got this spinner bait set up here for a gra uh, grassy shore like like the grass is underwater. That's what I thought my purpose is for using it in this setup. So yeah, you want to use braid in heavy cover 
like a frog or a jig, which is where you're going to use the braid in the first place. You're not going to use the braid on the crankbait, okay? It's just common sense right there. So you can use, you, I probably could use the um, Texas rig on the braid, but it's probably a lot more productive if you just use the fluorocarbon with this Texas rig here. It would probably be better just on the fluorocarbon with the um, um, snail knot, which I'm using right here. There is no knot on this lure right here. There's nothing holding this on except the coil that holds the shank of the hook. And I would like to say that you can actually use this kind of setup on a basic um, pan fishing setup with an Aberdeen hook. I got one over here on my dad's old reel, but that, that's for another segment. So, yeah, um, here, here's my rule of thumb. Crankbaits for mono, um, Texas rigs for fluorocarbon, and everything else for braid. Everything else that's not a Texas rig or a crankbait is going on to my braided line. That is my rule of thumb for right now.